Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. Today we're going to take a look at an unusual shotgun slug from around 2005 that was sold only to military and police. This is the Polyshock IRP. While impact reactive projectile sounds kind of nefarious, these are essentially 12 gauge frangible rounds. Basically the slug is constructed of powdered lead bound together with a polymer resin. The company marketed these with the premise that Pistol rounds, rifle rounds, and even 12 gauge buckshot had way too much over penetration to be used in an urban environment. When this slug impacts nearly anything, it's supposed to break into a harmless powder and prevent collateral damage. It was intended to be used by SWAT teams or even military special operation units for drug raids and hostage rescues and things like that. And one of the big selling points by the company was how well it worked against attack dogs. Let's head out to the range and see what these things actually do. Welcome back, Tau Flader folks. Jeff and the OG out here with you today. Jeff's tucked up in my truck because we're getting a little bit of wind out here. So if you hear some wind across the mic, bear with us. Hey, we're bringing you today uh, an interesting little slug. Uh, it's called an Impact Reactive Projectile, the IR... Wait a second. This is not... This isn't actually an Impact reject Reactive Projectile, of course, but anything that can be projected can be an impact reactive projectile. We are in fact bringing you something a little more shotgun worthy today. It's called a uh, Polyshock IRP. This was from the mid 2000s. It was marketed for law enforcement to be uh, a little bit safer way of battling uh, dangers like uh, dogs or in a hostage situation. It's got a frangible round in there. From the outside here it looks to be uh, all polymer and so we're going we're gonna to see what it's what it consists of here in a second. It's designed, of course, to hit something, be deadly, but fragment and not uh, over penetrate like buckshot does, or of course a slug does. So it was designed to be a safer, deadly round for law enforcement. Uh, this was sent to us by Alex. Alex is a deputy sheriff in North Carolina, and he really wanted to get some of these out to us um, to test out. So we're going to shoot them down range uh, through some various uh, medium and see see how they do and see if they fragment and if they do fragment how far are things safe behind them if you ever have a little a little kid carrying a vicious attack dog you could shoot the vicious attack dog and not injure the little child so evidently that's the theory behind them let's give them a try <laughs> this first test we're going to use this mass accelerator to send one of these uh, IRP rounds into the water jug see if the fragmenting works and if our uh, good guy slash bad guy watermelon behind there stays safe after the round hits the water jug. With a regular slug, no way. He'd be in danger. We're going to see if this one doesn't protect him. Let's Maybe we ought to show it, shoot buckshot at it afterwards. Let's do that. The, go, just to show that it, it goes through. We got a little bit of buckshot with us today, so we could do that. Okay. The water didn't stop enough of it. There you, was a, you, but you did hit kind of high on there. We haven't took any practice shots, taken any practice shots. Yeah, I aimed high because of the angle, but uh, the water didn't stop enough of it, so I don't know. Yeah. Let's try, let's try some additional, but his little uh, watermelon <laughs> goo brains. Yeah, that the IRP must be inside there or somewhere. I don't know. I mean, it could have bounced off of it. Okay, let's now that, now that you know that these shoot kind of high, it is, what kind of recoil did you have? Very little, very little recoil. Um, I'm also going to uh, reset the sight on my uh, shotgun back there. See if we don't hit a little bit different, but um, we need some flex seal to fix this thing. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Federal double out buck with flight control. Oh, okay. It's going to... OG's home defense round. So let's see that how that reacts to the water. Flight control is quite impressive. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. This isn't going to be a perfectly fair test because he hit so high, but in our further tests, we'll figure out where the point of impact is with the IRPs, and uh, that'll be more convincing. Here we go. 
Using the double lock buckshot, Greg's placement was a little better on this shot. And as you can see, there was over penetration. Some of the buckshot did impact the watermelon behind the target. Is your alignment good? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Feels like it. Yeah. Uh, it. Just so you know, his uh, red dot battery just died. So he's trying to co-witness through it with the uh, iron sights. I am ready. Here we go. Now we did recover the wad in this test, and as you can see it was kind of turned inside out. Fortunately in this test, Greg's placement was a lot better, and it also really demonstrates how little over penetration this round actually had. The water jug in the back was not damaged at all, and it was just covered with wet sand. For the most part, the PolyShock IRP functioned as promised in this test. The only thing that made it through the first jug was the plastic wad, which harmlessly bounced off the second jug. People would get very upset if we didn't have the lead plate. I want to show that it doesn't ricochet or come back at you or anything like that. It just crumbles. Hopefully that's what we'll see here. Okay, I'm ready when you are. So for a frangible round, I mean, that's a pretty decent impact in the solid lid plate. But I, I, I noticed some of the particles coming back, so it didn't break apart into dust or anything like that. You noticed them when they hit you? They didn't hit me, but they, they, <laughs> I saw puffs of, th you know, large puffs of dirt in, in front of the target. Uh-oh. So they do have a bounce back feature if you're hitting them in the hard, something hard. Yeah, yeah, I expected it to completely disintegrate and it didn't do that. But again, these are more marketed towards soft targets, right? Rabid dogs and well, bad guys. Yeah, but if you miss and hit a hard target, <laughs> you know, that's the whole thing, you know. This is true, but that could happen with anything, double out buck or a slug. Yes. Don't miss. But that's what it was big marketing thing was, you know, safer. that it, it was safer and didn't ricochet or anything. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. Here's our simulated dachshund attack dog. About the same weight and same mass as a cross-section of a dachshund, says Jeff. <laughs> so anyway, as you saw there in the slow motion, the round entered the towel and exited the towel. And... Went right through and left us a bunch of holes. Open so, it, open it up though. Oh, I'm gonna open it up. Okay. I'm gonna open it up. Yeah, there's. That's like 800 layers right there all rolled together. That's that's not as impressive as Tim's. Uh, Whose blonde hair is on your towel? That's that's. Uh... Was Taylor Swift at your house <laughs> taking a shower? I think that's Kevlar. That is Kevlar. <laughs> sure looked like Taylor Swift. But, uh, I expected much larger wounds than that. Hey, wait a second. I see something here of interest. <laughs> There is a hole in this towel. <laughs> okay, what about a, uh, like a Chihuahua attack dog? <laughs> we, Here we go. We have ballistic gel to represent that. <laughs> Same color as a Chihuahua too, your clear, clear ballistic gel. <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, let's go. Uh-oh, <laughs> into the water. In this test, the PolyShock IRP only partially disintegrated. There was still a pretty large sized chunk exiting the ballistic gel. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Wait, that's that canal. This, we're in this other canal. Oh, okay. That, that canal must be good then. Literally crap all over your shoes. It's the, it's, it, this is the safe canal yeah, over this here. Is, that's, that's Arrowhead drinking water yeah. on that side. I had a little sip when I was down there. It didn't taste bad at all. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> Ew. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. Kind of a shot in the dark. Whoa! Now that had some good explosion. That wasn't bad. I'm not sure what exploded there, but... <laughs> I think it was most... That was for science. It was <laughs> that was for science. That was for science. 
Okay, kind of a goofy target here, but uh, Greg finally found where to aim these things and got perfect shot placement on that, just going right between those two uh, shaving cream cans. But despite hitting the steel cans, there was still a lot of mass that went past that and hit the jug in the back. Now, since Greg is a law enforcement officer, let's get his opinion about these uh, Polyshock IRP rounds. All right, so what did we learn from this? First, check the batteries in your red dot optic. This one, by the way, lasted for about three years on one uh, 2025 battery. Second of all, sometimes using uh, gimmicky, goofy rounds is not as good as using standard stuff. If you were using, if you were in law enforcement, would you want to have an IRP round mixed in with a slug, mixed in with double up buck, mixed in with a bean bag, and under stress have to figure out which round you've got going? I don't think so. Not very reliable uh, uh, functioning of these. They they were sometimes blew apart. They sometimes didn't. They sometimes penetrated too far. They sometimes didn't. So. Uh, would they be good for you if, if the company was still around? Would you still buy these to put in your home defense shotgun? I don't know. You be the judge. So uh, anyway, give us your thoughts down below in the comments section. Tell us what you think. But for the OG, I'm still going to stick with double lot buck and a standard old slug in the standard old shotgun. I am, however, going to put some batteries back in this dang thing. Hey, for the uh, Patreons, too, I'm going to send you out <laughs> the rest of Jeff's uh, flower pot that he sent me. Oh, my God. It's got actual California in it, stuck in it. <laughs> it might smell kind of funny. It smells like Cal Unicornia in here. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll put Jeff's uh, nasty, nasty shoes that have spring water on them. Uh, <laughs> we'll send those to you also. So, all right, you guys be safe out there, and we'll see you on next next video.